They named the twin girls Aiden and Turfu, meaning paradise and left behind, a metaphor for a people displaced. Abraha is from the village of Mekadra, in Ethiopia's northern Tigray region. It is the scene of the first known massacre in a five-month conflict that has claimed the lives of thousands of ethnic Tigrayans. The Biden administration has called the violence in western Tigray ethnic cleansing, a charge the Ethiopian government categorically denies. Abraha's wife, Lete, was nearing the end of an uneventful pregnancy when the shelling began. As the fighting grew closer, he says they hid in the grass with their two sons, five-year-old Michele and 11-year-old Daniel. During a lull in the shooting, they crept back into their house. The next day, Lete went into labor. The babies came quickly and quietly, but there were complications. Afraid to go out, Lete's brother says they were utterly dependent on the kindness of others. Abraha knew there was no future for them there. So, like hundreds of thousands of their countrymen, they fled. They traveled by car to the northern city of Humera, then on foot across arid farm fields to the narrow Thakese River, where they boarded a boat to the Sudanese side. Among the escaping throngs, Abraha stood out, a wifeless man leading two young boys, his newborn twins slung around his neck in a grimy bassinet. As she lay dying, Lete made her brother promise to stay by her children. Unless the global community intervenes, Abraha isn't sure they will have a country to go back to. A homeland left behind. One family's paradise lost. Alan Breed, Associated Press.